come through B. Okay, center part and these curls. Yes, love it. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we are doing all of it. Hair, makeup, big old lashes. This is the biggest pair of lashes I've ever worn in my life. But I just, I was excited to get ready because I finally got a unit that I've been eyeballing for months. I love this color. I love these curls. And I was like, you know what? You got to do it justice. You got to do your makeup too. So I'm going to show you guys some new products, kind of first impressions, but I'm going to show you how I did my hair and everything. Before we get into the video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. We do hair, makeup, reviews, a lot of shopping. We do hauls, tutorials, nails, a little bit of everything. So if you're into beauty related content, you're going to love this channel. I won't keep you waiting any longer. If you want to see how I got this hair, how I got this makeup, and how I put this look together, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right guys, so we're starting. We're doing a little voiceover. I wanted to show you guys what came in the package. So get a wig cap. There's only one in the package. Sometimes there's two, but just one in this one. You also get some lashes. I thought these were okay. Probably gonna be a little big, but it's fine. You get a headband. I personally don't do animal print, so not gonna wear that. But let's get into this beauty. So this is what the wig looks like. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. I have been eyeballing this. I love the color. Excuse my wrap on my arm. I donated blood, so that's still there. But the texture, Gorgeous, this is what the parting space looks like. Inside, pretty standard. The lace looks good, very soft. Then you get two combs on the side. And then you also get your comb in the back and you do have your adjustable straps as well. So I was trying to make sure I show you guys what the hairline looks like. I think the lace is a little light, but the color is pretty good. It's not ashy. Um, the knots are not bleached and I am not going to bleach them. And I wanted to give you a better view of what the hairline looks like. I'm not plucking or doing anything. I think this looks really, really good compared to some of the others that I've gotten. And I think I'm gonna try to rock it with this center part. So. I am gonna go ahead and wash this real quick and then I'll do conditioner and everything and I'll show you those steps. This is the conditioner I'm using. This is the Aussie conditioner. I've seen a lot of people talk about this. This is the moisture line for curls. So I'm gonna put a good bit of that in the hair and just brush through it to make sure the hair is fully saturated. I did not use shampoo at all, so we're just co-washing. So I'm just gonna brush through to make sure that all of the hair gets coated really well and let it sit for a few minutes, and then I'm gonna wash it out. So again, I'm showing you the hairline with the hair brushed back a little bit, just so you can see. I think they did a great job plucking this hairline. So this is a really good beginner-friendly wig. So now I have this Cantu Avocado Curl Moisture. I'll have everything linked in the description box below, but I've been using this on my curly units and I really like it. I concentrate it mainly where I want the hair to be curly, so it's not particularly at the root, but I feel like it just helps define the curls and it also makes them stay defined without getting frizzy, but also not getting really hard. So I'm just gonna brush that through with my paddle brush, again, just to make sure it gets all over the hair. And honestly, I was just excited and kept playing in it. And then showing you from the other side, you can see the curls at the end are defined, but this hair has amazing texture and I love this color. Can y'all tell I was really excited about this hairline? Now I'm using this Garnier Fructis Curl Shape. This is actually a spray gel. I don't use a lot of it because I don't want the hair to be hard, but again, I'm still trying to figure out what works the best in terms of getting my curls to stay defined, 
not frizz and also not be crunchy. I don't like how that looks. I don't like how it feels. I want bouncy curls. So we're gonna jump right in. I have a lot of new products and I'm not sure this is the best time. Well, I guess it is because it technically ain't really a date night, but I'm acting like I'm getting ready for a date night. So I'm using a bunch of new products and we're gonna do the works. I'm gonna start off with primer. This is the VDL Velvet Blur Primer. Picked this up in an Ulta haul. It was on sale, of course, and I swatched it, but I have not tried it. Comes out a little runny. Um, yeah, this isn't tutorial. I'm just getting ready and playing in makeup. And I'm playing mainly because I got a new wig that I wanna try. Well, this is scary looking. <laughs> All right, did I put too much? I definitely feel like it's gonna have a blurring effect, but this white cast though, I don't know how I feel about this. I remember that from when I swatched it now. See if I can try to work this in a little bit, but Casper, here we come. So yeah, we still got a little bit of white cast, but that's okay. Um, Foundation I'm gonna use is the Perfect Lasting Foundation, also from VDL. Decided I just wanna use these together to see how well they work. I think I remember this foundation being like right at my skin tone, which for me is a little light. So we are gonna see. That's what it looks like there. Start off with one pump. Yeah, she should be good. Hell, I need some help with this found with this primer being this light. Yeah, this color is actually really good. It does have a little bit of a scent to it though. But I definitely like how my skin looks and it's already, I do feel like it's blurring a little bit, so that's good. I just went ahead and added a little bit more to build the coverage. Like I said, we are acting like this is a date night. So y'all tell me what you think. If you're going on a date, do you do full glam? Do you do kind of try to tone it down because you don't want to feel like you're catfishing? Like, what do y'all normally do? I think for me, it just depends on what the date is. If it's dinner, I'm gonna get a little more glammed up. Yeah, it depends on the person, if I actually care enough or you're in a relationship and you're doing, oh, this is our date night and you wanna be fancy or we just going down the road to a little quick spot and I wanna look cleaned up. But yeah, like the tone of this foundation, like the coverage, definitely feel like it's giving me a little bit of a blur. For concealer, I don't know which one I wanna use. I got this Smashbox 24 hour concealer and then this Estee Lauder Double Wear. Shades look very similar. The Smashbox is a little lighter, so I'm gonna go with that one. I think I got the Estee Lauder to kind of be, ooh, I don't know. Yeah, that is not the shade that I like for concealer, so. Let's see what this Estee Lauder looks like. Yeah, that's a little bit better. A little more neutral and also a little lighter. So I'm gonna go with that. I don't know, just as much as I love makeup, like, ooh, that might be a lot. <laughs> I don't care. I'll never date. I'll never be with anybody who does not like makeup ever. God forbid I have to go through that again, but no, would never do it. I just realized I blended out my concealer and <laughs> did not have my camera rolling. So concealer, I used the Smashbox and the Estee Lauder. I like the Estee Lauder more for the color. I'm gonna add a little bit more right here on the inner corners. But I do like how these blended out. I think everything looks really smooth and flawless, which is always a good thing. And then I'm gonna take my Nakia Joy Cosmetics powder, because that is the only powder. I don't know if I've used this on camera. If I have it, if I have, it's been a long time ago, but this is on my vanity to use every day. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes like I feel like filming and I get excited about it. And then other times I just feel like 
it's such a process. You have to do so much to get started that I'm just like, I don't have it in me. I can't do it. And you can't come on camera and be half-assing because nobody wants to see that. So nobody told me it was going to be this hard. I'm just blend this in right here in the corners. But the good thing about it is I actually love makeup. And I love hair, so once I get in the mood, it is really easy for me to snap into it and say, okay, I'm ready to do this and it's fun. And I love this powder because once I brush it away, it doesn't leave a white cast and it just sets everything. It is six o'clock and there is still construction happening right now and it absolutely drives me nuts because... I feel like no matter what time of day I film, I have to deal with this unless I wait till Sunday. And sometimes on Sunday, I don't feel like filming. I do my housework, I do my meal prep, and I don't want, I just, the schedule does not always work. For powder, I have this Too Faced Born This Way multi-use complexion powder, sorry. And I think I remember this being dark. Oh no, she's good. That's what it looks like. So I'm just going to lightly set my face. Okay, for anybody who's watching right now, you're getting ready for a date. You're doing makeup, doing hair, decide to put on a wig. You do the wig first or your makeup first. I feel like if I'm going to glue it down and try to like do all that stuff, I like to do my hair first. But a lot of times I've been just using my wig grip and not having to glue down the front. So then I just do my makeup first and try to make the lace match that. I'm going to go in with this Alamar Hydrating Complexion Trio. I don't remember. Oh, Lord. I don't remember if I used this before, but we're going to use her today. I think I'm going to just do a little light sculpt. I feel like I still have diet face going which I'm happy about. So I don't need to contour too much, but I still love to be bronzed. And this is actually like a, it's kind of a shimmer a little bit, so it'll help just give a little glow and some color, but that is a gorgeous shade. Borderline a little dark, but Again, everything always manages to blend together and look good. So, on my last Get Ready With Me, I talked about my Granberry Bee, talked about changes. The last couple months have been a little rough. That's all we're gonna say about that for right now. I'm just only using that bronzer. I'm gonna go in with this Clinique cheek pop blush pop and highlighter i picked this up from cosmetics company store and i know for a fact that i will only be able to use these two right here because that other shade i don't even know what that's for i don't know who that's for definitely not for me let's say where is my color there we go A lot of updates that I will give you guys soon, but definitely some big, big changes coming that I am excited about. Just need to get settled, figure out some things, make sure everything's intact, and then I can share. I know y'all are probably like, oh, I hate when people do that. Why you gotta tell part of it if you're not gonna tell everything? But, you know, build this suspense, keep you watching. Ooh, this highlighter is pretty. <gasps> no, I forgot I wanted to use something else. I have my Jaclyn Hill blush and bronzer duo and highlighter and it's sitting right here in front of me and I was gonna use that and I forgot. So this is pretty. But yeah, I, um, I don't know if I talked about my meet. I think I told y'all I was about to compete. But I competed September 26th, which was exactly two years to the day after my surgery, the first surgery. And the meet did not go the way I hoped it would, which was 
really disappointing. Like your girl was kind of depressed <laughs> for about a week afterwards because you know, you just, you work so hard and spend so many months working towards a goal and everything is looking like it's gonna happen. And then all of a sudden it just does it. It didn't come together and I should have won my weight class. That's the reality of it. And I didn't. And that was a, ooh, I didn't think this was gonna be that light. I'm back in the Alamar palette because I wanna brighten under my eyes a little bit. Yeah, that's the reality of it. I didn't do as well as I wanted to, as well as I should have. I should have won my weight class, which going into the meet, I really just thought, you know, like, hey, I would love to finish in the top three of my weight class. And then stuff started happening. People got hurt. Um, the girl who was the favorite to win ended up getting hurt and she had to pull out of the meet. And then other people who had registered that I thought were going to be tough for me to beat ended up not being in the meet either. So when it all boiled down, I was like, she, I might be able to finish second. And then the meet started going and it was like, you might be able to win this. And it came down to deadlifts, which is my favorite thing. And I was excited, my warmups felt good. And then I'm gonna use this Urban Decay brow. I have the brow finish and then the inked brow, waterproof brow gel. I'm kind of nervous about this. It came down to deadlifts, which is my favorite thing. So I thought, you know, I should be good. I was behind by 20 pounds and knew I should have been able to catch up and it did not happen. To go from training and being able to pull 485, 490, 500 for reps, pounds, for reps, and then to get on the platform and I missed 491 twice, just, I ain't gonna lie, it made me start questioning. <laughs> A lot of stuff because you know in my head I'm like if you need this you're gonna do it you've trained for it you've done it on your worst day you've done it on your best day no reason you should miss and I don't think I took it for granted but I definitely think I did not take into consideration how much the weight cut was gonna affect me because it was a lot more than I expected I ended up cutting about 20 pounds in a month I don't like this <laughs> I don't know. It's not dark enough. I don't know what's happening. So I ain't going to say I don't like it, but I'm not trying to like spend a lot of time on my brows. So I'm going to use something else and then I'm going to come right back. All right. Not sure how I feel about these brows yet. I feel like I was having trouble getting my pencil to go over that gel. So I'm going to have to play with that and see, but mm, I don't think I like it. It says it's supposed to be waterproof and 60 hours and all this stuff. So I just gotta figure out how you get it to go on. Let's move on to eyeshadow. I don't wanna do much. If there's anything I tone down, it'll be that. I'm gonna use this MAC Basic Beige eyeshadow palette. I bought this, haven't used it once. Surprise, surprise, Barbara. So has some gorgeous cool tones in it. I think cool tones should go with this. I don't know if they're gonna go with my hair, but that's all right, I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna start off, actually, I'm gonna put that bronzer in my crease just to give a little warmth. But yeah, I did not take that loss very well. And I'm just, I'm super competitive and I know like I hit some major goals. I wanted to squat 400 pounds and I did. And that was huge for me. And I think that also took a lot out of me because it was a grinder. It was rough. And then when I was warming up for deadlifts, everything felt fine. But when I got into actually pulling, like it started feeling like my butt was just tired. Like my butt muscles were not working. And that's not good if you're deadlifting. That was a tough pill to swallow. And that's the second time that it's happened where I've been in a position to win on my deadlifts and I can't finish. And that feels absolutely horrible, especially considering I feel like 
that's my best lift. You know, that's the one thing that if nothing else comes through, it's going to be that. It was a rough night and then came home and that was rough too. And it just, it stayed like that for a week. And I just said, I don't feel good. I'm not happy. I'm not pleased with how things went. Like I'm really not in a good headspace and I need to, you got to let yourself just process that stuff, you know, because it is what it is. You can't act like it didn't happen. And I love it too much to just blow it off. Like it's no big deal. On my lid, do we want to shimmer? I just really want to see. This is kind of like an iridescent, this shade here. Kind of like a, not a topper, but oh yeah, I want something with a little bit of lightness, but not a matte. Back to the drawing board. Um, my next meet is going to be in February. And... I'm going to keep my weight down so I don't have to cut again because that was one of the biggest issues. I think things are gonna be a little different. Things are gonna be a lot different. My training is gonna be focused differently. Um, being able to train with my coach in person is going to be huge because I've always trained remotely and had to depend on myself to do everything right and get feedback after the fact as opposed to, I'm gonna put a little bit of this black in my crease, I mean on my outer V just to, oh, that's darker than I thought. Um, it makes a huge difference to be able to train in person and get correction on the spot versus having to get it later and wishing you could have made some changes in the moment. So to be able to have my training be more focused on me you know, because right now I coach while I lift and I love it. I love training with my athletes. We all push each other. It's fun, but I think it'll be a good change. I think we're going to stop here with eyes. I'll finish that up in a bit. I'm going to do liner and all that stuff off camera. So I feel like I've been running my mouth and this video is getting long. So I'm going to finish eyes, come back, figure out my lip color, and then we're moving into hair. All right, it's starting to get dark outside, so your girl's been playing a little too long. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with my lips, and I'm just going to use my Milani liner, and I think I have a new lipstick somewhere in this mess on my desk, so yeah, we are doing just a cute little nude moment. Y'all, these are the biggest lashes I've ever put on. I'm not sure how I feel about them. I kinda like them. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't see how people do big lashes like this when they take their time and do eyeshadow because it covers everything. Where is my lipstick? Yes, I have this MAC Faded Breath. This is the Love Me Liquid Lip Color. Gorgeous, kind of reddish. Oh, a lot longer than I thought. So we're not a nude lip, but you know what? Eyes are basically covered, so I think this goes well together and makes my teeth look white, so we love it. So that is it for the face. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this hair. I inserted clips in the beginning. I have not done anything to it other than washed it, so the curls are definitely popping. This is a Water Wave 13 by four, I believe. Lord, let me make sure I get it right. 13 by four lace frontal human hair wig, Brazilian 10A brown highlight. It says that it is pre-plucked. I definitely agree, 150% density, 16 inches, which is about what I like for like every day. Love this color. I've been eyeballing a wig like this forever, so I cannot wait to get it on. So I'm gonna speed through this process so this video isn't too long, and then I will show y'all the final look.
All right, guys, so this is it for the final look. I wanted this wig forever and I finally got it and I'm so glad that I did. I did not even tweeze or hardly pluck anything off the front. I started to and then I was like, you know what? I really feel like it doesn't need it. I did not bleach the knots. I probably will go in and use my um, scar tape. And I mean, y'all saw, I did not like try to really melt this down. I wanted to see if I could wear it glueless and I don't think I can, which is fine. I can put a little bit in the front and be good with it, but I love this color. I love this texture. I have hair in my lip gloss, but yes. This hair is absolutely gorgeous and I'm so happy that I finally pulled the trigger and got it. And I love that the parting space pace can be different. So I decided to keep a middle part because I never do a middle part and I'm not even mad at it. I think with this texture and the way it falls on my face, it's cute. It is absolutely beautiful. Makeup came out amazing. Loved all the products that I used. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to make sure I show y'all all this hair, cause yeah, she cute. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment below. Let me know if you like this style of video. It's a little different, but I wanted to show you guys the whole process. And this wig is absolutely amazing. Thank you, Nadula Hair, for making this bomb color. Definitely fall appropriate. Absolutely love it. All the information will be in the description box below. If you want to try it out, definitely think it's worth it. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new, I hope you hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye.